but uh, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Oh! Welcome back everybody. Uh, today we're going to get those tyres put onto the loader. I'm waiting on them. They're waiting on some stock or issue. I don't know. But they're coming out. They're going to get those tyres done at some point today. So that'll be fantastic. Uh, this morning, as you might be able to tell, well, it is windy, but you might be able to tell I'm on the new road that we built. And uh, I'm just checking it for uh, the blowouts. So you can see it's starting to blow out as uh, we all knew it was going to. So I'm going to jump in the, the grader now and just grade this out. And uh, before we do that, I'll just go for a drive up here and show you how much Ben's dropped down. And uh, yeah, you can you can obviously hear that wind. It's going to be 38 today or 40. I can't. It's in the 40s or 30s high. So it's going to be warm. So uh, we could be putting a ban on shortly as well. So we'll just see. Uh, Henry's got 70 hectares to go with spraying. Uh, sorry, with uh, gypsum. So hopefully he can get that done before the ban comes on. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. So Ben has uh, done quite a few loads and had no issues whatsoever with this uh, with this ground because it's uh, it's clay now. And uh, yeah, no, it's um it's awesome. He's just we just had to get past that sand hill and that was it. And we're on top of the hill now, and he's got. Uh, well, I mean, it's going to be a good week of carting, but uh, we actually might have two trucks carting uh, over the weekend because Brian. Uh, he's off doing another job with his side tippers at the moment um, elsewhere but the pit is closed for the weekend so he was coming back and he's uh, gonna jump on this job I think so yeah they'll um, they'll smash out some tons and uh, yeah it'd be awesome get this done and we can move on to um, different spots and yeah it'd be uh, fantastic so I'm just gonna jump in that grader and we'll uh, get this sorted so like I said there's a uh not a huge route that needs to be graded. It is actually uh, the road is actually held up quite well. But I'm here. I've got time. I might as well just grade what I can and get it a bit nicer. So pretty hard to show you guys uh, when you're just pointing out the window grading when you're by yourself. But uh, all I did was just like a light, a light grade just to take the tops off of the uh, the ruts and just fill them in. That's all I've done. Um, it'll blow out again, and we'll just have to do it again. And what we'll do is when Ben is finished doing that string all the way up to the top, I'll get him to dump probably two or three uh, well tippers along this road where uh, the sand is blowing through and uh, yeah that'll just then we can just go and build the road back up in those spots because it is it's just blowing down the sand base um, so yeah that'll that'll be the plan uh, now I did get a few comments on um, using uh, no why don't I grade the sand out so that Ben can just drive through it and uh, we did think of that but uh, the problem is it's just deep sand so you're going to be grading for probably about half a metre to a metre before you get to clay or gravel so yeah not not worth digging a big hole in the paddock for that so it was just easier for us to build this road and now uh, he can still get through even when it blows out he can still get through there's just um, you know it just gets a bit soft in spots but he'll still be able to get through so right back to the shed for me so I'm still waiting on ACTM to uh, give me a call to let me know they're on their way out the, the tyres will get done today, I'm not worried about that, but yeah, sooner rather than later would be nice. But uh, anyway, what I'm going to do now is finish off this, uh, this job that I started of uh, destroying my, my workshop bench. So I'm just going to get through and just finish tidying this all up so it's all back, neat, tidy, clean. And uh, then once that's all done, makes my life a lot easier, not having this mess everywhere. 
and then uh, maybe I can start that back up or I'm actually just fill the air up and then hop underneath and locate some air leaks if there is any air, well there must be because the bags are all out but yesterday when we moved it in here there wasn't anything leaking out so go and run an ear over that find out where the air leaks are, fix them and then yeah they'll be all ready for inspection next week made a hell of a dent on this now so I've got uh, got all the bottom nice and cleaned up and the top nice and oh, don't look there got all those buckets empty filled a box of rubbish uh, so then I've got all the stuff to take to the loft and still don't know what I'm, where I'm going to put those toolboxes but I'll figure it out anyway the guys aren't too far off from ACTM so we'll go and get this uh, loader operational and uh, yeah then I'll get back to cleaning that and bringing the tyres up here off the, uh, off the loader and putting them somewhere and I don't think we'll get to this today, that might be our next week job, but we'll get there. Right, the, uh, the boys at ECTM did an amazing job. Um, took a lot longer than expected, because uh, they got out here without tubes, so I had to shoot to town to grab some tubes. Uh, but yeah, we've got them, well, not we, they got them all done. So we've uh, got two nice shiny new tyres on there, and uh, they did a great effort, because it's uh, like 41 or 42 degrees at the moment, so it's, you know, hard work especially when you're working on tyres so uh right I'm gonna lift up and reverse off so I can put my blocks on the back of the ute and then need to hook the ute onto the trailer there and then I need to get these tyres out because uh we are in a movement band at the moment but I'm alright to move because I'm in a gravel pit uh but uh as soon as the movement band is lifted or more likely tomorrow uh Ben's gonna start straight back up with uh gravel karting and I think Brian might actually be here too so yeah, I better get this pit all ready and rolling for them and get the loader all nice and ready and... bucket is exactly how I hope but you know it's getting on the trailer That's on there, all the stuff's on the back of my ute, so down here is all ready to roll for Ben when he wants to get going. So, take this back to the shed and I'll do one or two things. Knock off, I'll go do another job. So we've got to make a phone call first. So we're doing one last job for the day. Dexter's uh, dying in the back, it's currently 41 or two. Uh, we've got this, and uh, as most of you might know what this is for, this is for smashing windows. So we're heading down to Clare Downs to get Ben, our Ute Ben, not Ben the truck driver. <laughs> and uh, we took that down when we got the Versatile so that we could take the Versatile back down and then drive back up, not having to take two cars. And one person can just do the, do the job. And uh, while it was down there, the guys, it was just parked outside, so they, it was a hot day. They thought, oh, we'll just move it and put it into the shed for them just so it's out of the shade, out in the shade. And they, uh, it was flat, so they had to jump start it, and uh, it locked the keys in the car. So it's been a whole ordeal. I've gone to forward and gotten a key code to then go to a locksmith to get that code cut to a key to open the door. That didn't work. Um, yeah, that was very annoying. 
that was like three days of wasted on that and then it's 650 bucks something around there to get the only two locksmith people in town to come out and uh break into the car or it's 350 bucks for a window so but a uh, a side window so that's what we're doing we're uh, going the cheaper option of breaking a window and then on monday i'll drive into town and get it replaced so we're gonna go have some fun with this thing okay so this is uh get the fly off my thing this is the key that i got cut and as you can see doesn't bloody work so that's useless and then they saw a thing on uh on instagram you know that one where you put like the the square of tape on here then you do it then you pull it down yeah. <coughs> fly on the, the mouth sorry so i did that as you can see from here so uh it feels wrong breaking a window i'll be honest <laughs> but uh here we go here we go ready oh have to go back. That... <laughs> I thought it was meant to break straight away. You wouldn't want to be trapped in an emergency. No. There we go. There we go. Alright. That's done. I'm gonna need some gloves. We'll push this all in and vacuum it out and then uh, we'll uh, hopefully start the car. I'm surprised at how many times that took. I thought it was going to break straight away. And we're in. So the question is, do I now break all this window down or do I push it back up and tape it? I don't know. Gonna need to vacuum that though, for sure. Right, we got it going. She's gonna be a windy, uh, windy drive back. Um, the, uh, the battery is completely knackered, so I, I need to order or buy a new battery for this. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, always handy, having a, uh, a dodgy battery. That's what's set this whole whole thing in motion. But anyway, we're uh, operating it, we're driving it, we can move it, and uh, the window will be replaced on Monday. So with that, guys, I, uh, I know it's a short video, but I reckon I'll leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And as always, see you in the next one.